So this looks like just some sacred geometry design. This is the brilliant work of Will Wire. But it's actually the incredible Fibonacci spiral that goes through the center of all three of the Giza pyramids. Incredible. There's the Great Pyramid right there. And there's the origin of the Fibonacci spiral that goes through those three Giza giants. So I uh, presented a paper at a large Egypt Egyptological conference about these markings I found on the east side of the Great Pyramid. And I showed that they point in certain directions. They don't point off like the red. They really mark a pretty straight angle like that blue there. It's not off in an angle like that. I, and I showed that these pointers point to specific places. I measured them. And it's my iPhone there. measured the different angles. And uh, so again, I, I presented this all at a uh, Egyptological conference. Incredible things about them. Now here's the fifth marking. And it looks... Uh, and it goes, that part of the bottom of this points through the Sphinx and to that Fibonacci origin. Incredible. Okay, so that particular fifth marking looks like the Meskechu, the uh, foreleg of an ox. And uh, here is a... There it is right there. That's the Meskechu. It looks like the foreleg of an ox, but it also is like an adze. And it's the Big Dipper. And it, so... Sometimes uh, the Ursa Major is interpreted as an ass, sometimes as a foreleg. This is ancient Egyptian symbolism. Here it is being used for the opening of the mouth ceremony. So that Meskechu points to, through the Sphinx, and to the Fibonacci origin. There it is there. There's the fifth of those five markings. That's the special one, the Meskechu. So I'm pointing them out there. Uh, making this on my front voice, so sorry about the background noise. Here's the, the five markings, and they point the four markings that point to important parts of the interstices of the Great Pyramid. It doesn't point randomly. It points to the beginning of the Grand Gallery. It points to the King's Chamber, the Queen's Chamber. Unbelievable, those four markings. And the fifth one is that black line there. It goes to the Sphinx and to the Fibonacci origin. Unbelievable. Okay, so, so really there's a different view of it. You can see the red line there. It goes through the Sphinx. And when I first saw that it went to the Sphinx, I thought, wow, but I said, oh, that's going toward the back of the Sphinx. It doesn't seem like it would point to the back of the Sphinx. Maybe I'll keep going. And I found it goes to the Fibonacci origin. So the Fibonacci origin, there's two witnesses now to the Fibonacci spiral being here. It goes through the center of all three pyramids, but there's a mark on the east side of the Great Pyramid that points to the Fibonacci origin. It's meant to be. Here's a picture Rocky McCallum drew of that spiral. That's where the origin would be there. We've gone there, and I'm going there again. You want to come with me. It's fun. It's magical. It's mystical. Here's the golden cross. It's formed through the Sphinx, and it's the phi proportion, length divided by width. Okay, so what's with Fibonacci? Well, the Fibonacci numbers are incredible. The beginning is like a spiral to infinity. So we know that that's incredible. And so it's here on the Giza Plateau. Okay? There it is. From where that Meskechu marking it is to the Fibonacci origin. Okay, so let's review. There are four east side markers pointing to the major internal passages of the Great Pyramid, and the fifth one points to the origin of the Fibonacci. That's incredible. Come with me to go see it.